boxing truth here. All right, enough business talk. Enough about pay per view numbers. I mean, to me, it's only right to to feel skeptical when a boxing writer gets his info on pay per view numbers from the actual promoter record of the show. I mean, like, like promoters never lie. Okay, but it is what it is. Let's move on and let's talk about boxing. A little boxing talk and. I came across this interview of one of Heyman's prospects at the 154-pound division, Julian J. Rock Williams, an up-and-coming fighter in the 54-pound weight class from Philadelphia, who's built up an undefeated record. He's had 24 bouts, 22-0 with a draw. And a no contest against Hugo Centeno. And Julian Williams was doing an interview and he was talking about Canelo Alvarez. That he would dominate and systematically break down Canelo Alvarez. But my question to y'all is, who the hell actually believes that? I mean, seriously. I mean, Julian Williams, he's got some talent pretty good fighter in some of the fights I've seen him in. <laughs> He's shown some skills. But just look at the opposition, man. This has got this has been one of the disappointing built up records in, in boxing. Julian Williams is rated in the top ten of box rec and he has yet to defeat a top twenty junior middleweight. So how the hell is is he rated in the top ten when he haven't even beaten anybody? I mean, he's been constantly fed a, a series of dubious opponents. Guys ranked in the top 500, top 300, 400, 100. <clears throat> in his last fight, he didn't even look all that good. Stopped him. He fought an Italian guy, no-name guy with no power. Courtesy of the, the IBF rating system, who enforced an uh, eliminated between Williams and Montano. And Williams had to fight him. A no-name guy in his first main event on a on a network. That's another thing. Heyman hasn't really been treating him right. He's been not getting the, the showcases compared to some other fighters. Like a main event on NBC or on the ESPN or on the, on the Showtime network until very recently. His last fight, that was his first uh, main event. So... For whatever reason, Heyman hasn't really been exposing him, exposing him to the boxing public much, putting him on undercards, putting him on, on smaller platforms like FS1, and he's been constantly feeding him some very soft opposition, tomato can at the tomato can, not really progressing or fighting the type of opponents he needs in order to fulfill his potential. But right now, if those two were to fight, in my opinion, Canelo Alvarez would trash Julian Williams. He would dominate and systematically break down Julian Williams. Canelo's just on another level right now. I mean, these guys are practically the, <clears throat> the same age. And you look at the difference. One guy's been on pay-per-view. One guy's been is on the pound-for-pound -pound list, has won world titles, has four pound-for-pound -pound level type of fighters. Has had a solid um, progression in his career, even when he was <clears throat> even when he was being developed, he was fighting some solid guys. I mean, the best fighter Julian Williams fought, well, the most recognizable name that that he beat is Luciano Coelho. A guy that Canelo knocked out when he was a teenager. Now Julian Williams did his job. He made easy work of Guello in about 90 seconds. Knocked him out in less than a round. But <clears throat> Williams is saying that if Canelo needs an opponent, he's willing to, to bypass his, well, he, he's willing to bypass his mandatory shot for the winner of 
Jamal Trollo and Austin Trout if he can get a shot at Canelo. But Canelo ain't looking your way, bro. Canelo don't even know who the fuck you are, man. What do you bring to the table? You bring no name, you bring no name recognition, you bring no money, and you got no belt. So why the hell is Canelo Alvarez going to fight you? What's in it for him? And if the, the industry sources are true, if he really did less than 400k buys, he needs big name opponents, suitable dance partners in order to get the numbers he's used to getting when, he, when he's fighting against the name opponents. So, Julian Williams, you're going to do what a lot of fighters in your position have to do. Work your way up the rankings. For some strange reason, you can't even get fights in your own stable. You're begging for fights. A lot of fighters in their stable won't even fight you. Erislandi Lara, Jamar Charlo, the Charlo brothers, Austin Trout wouldn't fight you for whatever reason. So Heyman is unable to deliver you big fights. Perhaps you can say that none of those guys are willing to fight. They hide behind Heyman, want to be protected. And perhaps that's true. But you're going to have to do what other fighters in your position have to do. And that's enforce a mandatory shot. Now, Julian, I think he's a good fighter. I, I like I like what I see, but he hasn't been built. He hasn't been developed right. He hasn't been in there with the type of opponents he should be fighting in order to get more of a gauge of how good he is. But right now, he wouldn't do shit to Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is too seasoned for him, too experienced. Has been in with way better opposition. He's just as, they're pretty much around the same size. Julian's a little taller, but Julian also doesn't have the style to beat Canelo Alvarez. I believe he's tailor-made for Canelo Alvarez. Julian is an aggressive fighter, likes to come forward, likes to throw uh, combinations. He's got good technique, very textbook. Throws good, nice jabs up, up and down to the head and body. But he just doesn't have the experience. He don't have the... He just doesn't have that 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 experience. He hasn't been developed enough yet. And he just hasn't been tested like Canelo has. Canelo has double the fights, double the experience. Has been in there with the best in the world. From 147 to 155 pounds. So, when Julian says that, practically nobody believes that shit. That he would dominate systematically breakdown. Nah, man. I think you tailor made for him, in fact. Possibly will stop you. Canelo will possibly knock your ass out. But Julian, hopefully, he'll get some significant fights sooner rather than later. It's been disappointing. It's been a frustrating road for him. He's with Al Heyman, defends him whenever he can on Twitter. But he hasn't really delivered for you. I mean, what's he done? He can't even get you on big platforms until very recently. Can't even bring you any uh, good opponents, any significant fights. 26 years old, and you, have, you still have yet to get a world title shot. But, not knocking him. I think he's a good young fighter. I just don't know how good he is, because he doesn't fight anybody. Tomato can at the tomato can. Guys ranked in the top 500 even. Like, why is he fighting these type of opponents? Just makes you wonder. Maybe he's not the goods. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.